Yes, give me the gameplay. Ooh, starting out his glory. Oh, sw wow, they're just swapping real quick through people. Goofy skeleton monster. Oh, look at that Gloria skin! I like those shorts. Pine Bluff shirt. My dude's got his patches all over his jacket. I like that. So we see a new skin for Gloria. Wart Lab, this is going up against Dolls. Yes, Doll Mouth. I like how they're skipping. Oh, she almost looped him. I don't know. We're hoping for a skin. We gotta work for it. Gotta work for it. Gotta get work to. Oh, oh! <laughs> Look at that. He he set that up nice. He knew exactly where they were going. This is probably my favorite Gloria skin though. It's pure '80s right there with the gold skirt, the jean jacket. Enchanted Eye. Okay, she's trying to find, I think, the Book of the Dead. And... What the fu... What was that? Okay, what's the heart? The heart is, I'm guessing, healing? Okay, we've seen what healing looks like now. Now we know the, uh... Yeah, the crucifix is just a stun weapon. Okay, there's Dollmaster in the distance. You see where he is because they destroyed the doll. Ooh. Straight up with the Dollmaster. Running in. Now he's not going to probably chase because he's going to set back up again. I hadn't seen the, uh, the, the eye... Stigma in use yet, I don't think. Okay, this is okay, nice little heels going on. I love the 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 gold skirt with the pink leggings and the jean jackets with the combat boots on. I love that eighties like mishmash style, you know. He's going for you. Oh no, he turned around. Wait. Was that a double hit? Did he double hit just there? It looked like he hit the dude with the gen this dude and Gloria at the same time. I love this makes me think like camp counselor right here. This is like a camp counselor skin with the shorts and the t and the uh, tummy shirts. Whoa! This guy playing Dollmaster, he's like on point. Ooh, look at that loop! Look at that loop! That quick like twist. What's she gonna do? Okay, she's gonna. Ooh, that's what it looks like when he teleports over. Oh my gosh, he's got a weapon, but Dollmaster does not want to be there while he has the weapon. He's super vulnerable right now. Lots of neon. It's all 80s, all neon, all the time. We need that. Okay, she's creeping up to and disarming the doll. Nice. Okay, cool. So you do have to creep up on them in order to not trigger them. Oh, he's right here, he's right here. Is I guess she's they're healing right now. Yeah. Okay. 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 One's being healed. One is doing the healing, and they're just swapping through to show which. Okay. Cool. Healing takes a bit. Healing takes a bit. He's running around a lot more with his uh, doll master than uh, we've seen in previous playthroughs. She's sneaking up, disarming this trap. They're very good on the traps. I don't think he can disable his own dolls, but I do think he can, like, he can move them around. That much we've seen. Oh, nice. But he's already damaged him with that, so it doesn't do damage to Dollmaster. It just stuns him, which is still good because it still reveals where Dollmaster is. Oh, body's here. I am so bad. Wow, missed that, uh... Oh, the juke. The juke. Okay, Dollmaster is still faster than she is, though. He will catch up. He will get this hit. This is this is looking awesome so far. Okay, you can hear Dollmaster running. And he wasted his molly. He's creeping up on the doll. 
I wonder what the distance is. They must know that it's not too far that the dolls actually alert you to uh, their to someone's presence. He's running around a lot as Dollmaster. He's not really using his dolls too much. Whiff. Okay. I'm trying. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, you're not. The, the dolls aren't being hidden, and they're really not utilizing the doll master, e their dolls either. Doll master is basically like, um, well, not basically, but kind of it has the same idea as uh, the twins in Dead by Daylight, where you really need to utilize those dolls. You know, you need to set up a safety net, and then you need to hunt with the dolls, and not so much with the doll master. This doll master is putting themselves out a lot. Yeah, very, very bold play. Dolls going up to exhibit? Yep. No, you want the dolls to waste their weapons to what, to take those hits. You know, even if you do happen to get the doll down and it shows Dollmaster's location, it doesn't really matter if they can't get to you. He does. He needs to set up his dolls in a better location. He needs to, you know, get that, that web out there. I mean, he can place while chasing, but it doesn't seem to be the best strategy because then you're just kind of like leaving breadcrumbs as to where you were. It seems like you, Dollmaster is a setup killer. You want to have that zone where you know you're safe. Okay, you can hear the. Uh... Okay, they're pinging the map where he is because they can hear his lullaby. I'm pushing this way. I saw him. Okay, he's got a reticle. Nice, shot him with the gun. So that's two stigmas down. What's she doing here? She's slamming on this cola machine. Okay, cool. Skill checks and stuff like that to get sodas. That's interesting. That's awesome. That's actually a lot of fun. You're banging on soda machines and stuff like that to get... Look, I'm guessing the colas will heal you or give you adrenaline or something like, like you know, speed boost or something like that. They're quick on their pings, these survivors. Very quick on pings and very quick on, you know, letting people know where uh, the dolls and the doll master are. Yeah, this play style would definitely work with Wart because Wart can actually put up a shield to protect himself from, a, you know, uh, weapon attacks. This might be a Wart main playing doll master. Ooh, he's stunned. Oh, here comes the Molly. Ooh. You see how he gets up, though? All creepy-like? Like, different parts of him get up at different times. He probably rearranges and, you know, reconstructs himself. That's kind of cool. Yeah, he is. Okay, he's going for... This is the... Okay, that's the... Uh, I, I call it the religion stigma. <laughs> I don't know its actual name. But, uh... He's going for that one. Oh, there's the alarms. He's triggered the alarm. He's got to move. He knows he's... Very close. Ooh. Ooh. It doesn't seem like he's familiar with the, the better tactics of Dollmaster. Is she going to go in and take a hit so that he can also get... Because he has... Bam. Hit him. Oh, nice. And that's the game. Four stigmas. That's good teamwork, too. Are they going to show this from the Dollmaster's perspective now, or... All right. Oh, no, 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 no. New game, new game. In a... Looks like a school? Oh, that's pure me. Those are running. It's you? Cactus Mutt, what's up? Welcome back to the stream, buddy. Glad you're here. That was a very fast match. They... It, it shows... Ooh, against the werewolf. Nice. It shows what you... What the... How long a match can go if... Um, ooh, bam. Nice. He's using his hunt ability right there. But it shows the difference between um, somebody who's very familiar with Dollmaster can draw that game out, can make them waste their weapons, to somebody who's not familiar with Dollmaster, where the teens just kind of run over you because you're using Dollmaster too much and you're not really utilizing his dolls enough. I'm doing really well, man. I, I've got a couple more videos out, and I'm actually in the process of making a new, uh, a new killer for VHS. A new monster for VHS, sorry. I was in the process of making that video when I got the announcement for this, and I just focused on this. I'm going down the the Very excited for this game. That person's already down. Okay. Wow. Uh, I found one. Oh, okay. Okay. That's like a life orb that brings you back. Okay. 
He's gonna come back down here, though. He probably could. Like, if he absolutely yeah, had to, he could probably run in, hit the survivor, they run away, or they go down, and then he teleports away. That's probably a very, uh... Like, all or... Ooh, the howl. Not gonna be able to use those weapons. Is he coming in with his sprint? Yep, he's coming in. Using that sprint to close in on the distance after the howl. But those are tight, tight quarters. He can... Ooh! Comes around and hits Gloria. Ooh. Brendan actually ran him over to Gloria on accident, I'm guessing. I'm going to loop back around to science. Okay, yeah, come back, come back, come back. We're ready. Where from? Right around the corner. I think... I think... Uh, Do While Dogmaster could do the hit and run, I hope... I, it feels like uh, Werewolf is better hit and run killer. You howl, get your sprint on, run in there, bam, hit them, you're out. Before they can use their weapons. I would love for love for it to have that love for it to have that werewolf skin. Okay, so he's spectral again. Is this the same guy or is this a different guy who's spectral? The subdued status effect. Which one are you talking about for the for the? Uh, sorry. Um, gosh, I'm trying to. <laughs> it's, I'm brain farting now. Are you talking about subdued for the teens? He's hunting here, so. I'm He's hunting. The They're coming right up behind him. He's going to hope for that. Oh, you get an arc to show oh, where it is. Here. Did he hit him? Oh, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, he actually hit him. Oh my gosh, that was an awesome throw. That was awesome. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Oh, 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 oh. The, the. It's not so much subdued. I think you're talking about the howl, where he howls and they cannot use weapons, which I think is like the subdued thing you're referring to. But when he howls, if they're hit by the howl, they can't use weapons. So sub subdued, they're also. Oh, you're talking about when they when he gets hit. Okay, I think that prevents them from using weapons for that subdued amount of time, because they're too busy recovering from the injury. Wow, that weapon use. That weapon use was on point. Like, she got hit and just... She she went through her phase and then uh, juked him and then just dropped the weapon to hit him. These guys are on point. Oh, there's a pop right here. Yeah, it, can, it, it, it shows that they played the game a lot, which I like. I'm going to keep my... Array. He's here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, here he comes. He's hunting. That sound right there, the snarling and the sniffing that you hear right now, is his hunt. Was it enough? No. It was not enough. Dang. Now, I've asked the devs if the... Ooh. Solid hit. I've asked the devs if... Like, what you saw right then when uh, she shot him with the, the ray gun but didn't get enough damage on him... To actually injure them, does he retain that damage from that uh, from that stigma, or does it kind of like fade off after t over time, and then you can try and uh, you have to like do it all over again? It's something I'm curious about. It seems like it fades over time. You have to get like a certain amount of damage on him and a certain amount of time for it to count as a uh, a full stigma damage, full stamina. Oh, excellent! Oh, and he goes down. Survivors seem more skilled than any of the others we've seen. I think, honestly, I think what we're seeing is dev survivors going up against people they've given uh, early access to. So people who aren't as familiar with the maps, people who aren't as familiar with the play styles, and uh, you're seeing what devs can, the devs currently can do against people who aren't as familiar with the game. It would not surprise me if we saw Jay being one of the one of the killer, one of the monsters, or someone like uh, Space Coconut. Because I know both of them so far have been given early I'm access. Up, so you should get charge, uh, Brandon, once you're done there, like, so, yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah, you definitely want the devs to like, unlike Dead by Daylight, uh, these devs just can just actually play their game to an uh, to a respectable level. I like that they showed the arc of the uh, of the of the Molly, and okay, let's see what he does here. Stunned him with it. Stunned him with the sword. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it right then. It, the the energy quickly faded. Like it wasn't enough to injure to fully injure him, so it faded down. Oh, that's interesting. That heal right there. I only have one shot left. That's okay. Okay, okay. So it can injure and heal. Oh, it was enough to inj. Wow. So that thing right there is actually. It's a multi-purpose weapon. It heals people and it can injure the survivors. I'm only quarter charged. Sorry. Oh, it's too bad. Yeah, it takes a long time to master these things. So these guys probably know the in. I mean, they they obviously know the ins and outs. Ooh, we called that one. Yeah, if you even if you're getting hit by the weapon, you can stop the full the the injury if you can stop them from using the weapon by hitting them fast enough. Oh man, that was close. That was close. That was close. Oh, did you see that? He used his he used his sprint just as she was about to start hitting him and as he start she started hitting him with the weapon, it gave him enough speed even as he was slowed down to get in there and hit her and stop that. That was awesome. Okay, he's creating his cursed sword. She's running. She's got this, some kind of wand or something like that. Is he going through the... Okay, he can vault the windows and stuff like that. Where'd she go? Wow, did he actually juke her or... Oh no, he's using his hunt to find her again. Oh, he missed that, but he's right there. He's right on her. She goes down. She's dead. Yeah, that's the uh, the tape reel, the videotape reels. Nice. Oh, and another werewolf goes down. Nice game. I liked all of the... Um... Oh, I think that's it. Hold on just a second. Yep, that looks like it's it. Okay, so... One second, let me come over to... Right here ish. Hold on. Where'd it go? Nice. Let me see here. Yeah, it looks like that was it. Okay. So, thoughts on the gameplay that we saw? The survivors were definitely communicating. The first game, you saw a lot of pinging, especially with the dolls and everything. You saw them just like, ping, ping, ping. Here's the doll, here's the doll, here's the doll master. He's right here. You saw the communication where one would stun the doll, which caused the doll master to get stunned. He'd run in, and uh, he got that final like injury on him to win the game. Um, it's really interesting to see how the built-in communication is... Uh, it, it, it's built to, to play around that. It is a bit hard to tell, like, how good the survivors were. I mean, they were really on point with their communication and their pings, so it tells me that the survivors were a lot more, uh, lot more skilled, had a lot more time in it than the, than the people playing the, the killer, the monsters. But it gave you an idea of different types of gameplay that you can actually do. Like, I mean, Rendax pointed out that it's a really good hit-and-run tactic for the, uh, for the doll master. If you're in a pinch, just hit somebody, force them to run away, teleport to a to a safer location start setting up your new net you know they don't know what your next move is because you're likely not going to chase them down you have to spread that damage out quickly interested in seeing how they will balance around higher skilled players they are actually uh developing the game around the highest skilled players so um I, i'm one second <laughs> but yeah, they they are developing everything around the the highest skill players so that it it basically forces the new players and bad players to get better instead of forcing the good players to play badly. Uh DVD seems to have the opposite idea where they force good players to play, you know, inefficiently. Like you're you're encouraged to you know, give up chases and 
spread damage and everything like that when the most efficient way to do something in dvd is to you know tunnel a survivor out because three is easier to do than one this actually encourages you to spread that damage out hunt survivors or sorry hunt teens around and uh everything but i like it the gameplay was very fast paced it can tell it could show it shows you the difference between uh very skilled players and very new players especially with the doll master the doll master you saw was using the doll master a lot to chase down uh teens and everything they were not utilizing their they were not util utilizing their dolls very much and that really that really i think hampered their gameplay it does keep you in the action it forces you to stay moving and stay thinking doll master is going to be especially tricky with this fast place gameplay because you have to be on point you're going to have to know the maps thankfully the maps don't really change uh you're going to have to know a lot about a lot more about the game to play that sort of setup killer or set, setup monster sorry uh 